What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a long time since I made a vlog video, but uh, wanted to do a vlog today for the channel. And actually, what I'm doing is that actually today it's Friday, June uh, was it 27th, 28th, one of those days. Uh, I'm off work today. It's a beautiful like right now. It's like probably low 80s. Um, it's supposed to get really. It already is really hot, but it's supposed to get like really hot this afternoon. So. Um, I love riding on these kind of days, and I'm actually, I got my GoPro on my chest here, um, got my other action cam here in my hand, obviously. I'm um, going to do a vlog for you guys here for the channel. going to basically uh, do, today I'm doing my, my all-time favorite loop that I do, where pretty much I leave my house here in Malone, and I ride uh, up to Lake Placid, um, which is about an hour car ride from here. Um, I ride up to Lake Placid. Um, go up the what I call the back side of Whiteface, up through Union Falls to Wilmington, up Route 86 to Lake Placid. Usually stop there for something to eat, and then uh, it's back down through Malone. And then it's uh, ba back down through Malone. But uh, what I'm going to do today is I got the cameras with me. I'm going to just basically uh, show you guys a little bit of the ride. Maybe stop at a few different uh, places along the route. Show you a, you know a couple of the cool. Um, there's a couple of cool you know just you know places along this route that I want to show you guys so I'm gonna show you guys some of the route I'll get some on bike video maybe uh, I think I can talk and my GoPro will pick up the sound I'm gonna maybe just talk you guys through maybe a couple of uh, through the tougher climbs on the uh, segment on the on the route um, all in all it's gonna be like this is like this is like a hundred and thirty like hundred and twenty hundred and thirty mile ride probably what it'll be uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of between seven eight hours. Um, it's got like 6,000 plus feet of climbing. So it's a big day in the saddle um, Perfect day to ride. They're not you know, it's supposed to be you know partly cloudy mostly sunny skies all day Perfect day for this kind of ride. I love doing this. These are great train This is a great training ride for me working on my endurance mostly just gonna ride it mostly endurance pace um, Maybe do a couple of very short efforts um, during the ride, but mostly just a long endurance ride. Uh, wanted to bring you guys along with me for the ride, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Just getting ready to start. It, uh, it's around 12.30 p.m. Just getting ready to start the ride here now. And I hope you guys can uh, hear me all right, but uh, I'm about I'm almost nine miles into my ride here and uh, You know a lot of this loop Is a lot of just you know main highway, you know uh, basically route 30 from Malone all the way up to uh, uh, Brighton area so So there isn't really, you know, a lot of interesting sights to show you guys the first, really the first uh, 50 miles of this race, honestly. Or, excuse me, not race, but ride, loop. About the first 50 miles is pretty much just main drag like this. Now, right now, the video might not be able to show, but I'm actually on about about a two or three percent grade so I'm down in the small ring 
and about the 19 cog in the back putting out around 200 watts my goal uh normalized power for the ride will be around you know 180 to 195 hopefully will be a good normalized uh, power goal for me so yeah i just really can't uh don't have a ton to show you guys here the first 50 or so but it'll be a lot of this right here basically just a lot of this uh main highway riding I'm at the uh, 40 mile mark. Actually just uh, made my first water stop of the day at a little convenience store back there. At the, uh, it's at 40 miles in. Got another uh, Gatorade. Refilled my uh, water bottle. So. Should be good for a while now. I don't know if you guys can see this off in the distance over there, but that's White Face Mountain. Just over that barn over there. Not sure if you guys can see that, but uh, that was White Face Mountain from headed. Right, guys I'm on that uh, very steep part of this loop this is a road called Gillespie Drive and uh, I'm not exactly sure how long it is but it's pretty long and it's like I said the average grade through here is like probably 10% average and it pitches to places probably in the 20s I mean, I'm out of the saddle right now, 39, 25, and it's taking about 260 to just kind of keep things steady. Getting to a real steep section here. Right, guys I'm at 60 cadence easiest gear I'm doing almost 360 watts 
actually more than that 370 now just to go Three eighty. Huh. Eases up ever so slightly to here. Back to two hundred watts. And now one last kick. Back up to 320, 340, down a gear, Three thirty, three forty, thirty nine twenty one. Back in the saddle, thirty nine twenty five. I actually do have the uh, I've got the KOM on this climb I took it last year I think it was in June or July I took it last year but I'm not going for it today in fact the day I did it last year I actually rode I rode this bike I rode this Talon and I pushed the big ring the whole way. I actually pushed the big ring the whole climb. Got the KOM in by like 10 or 12 seconds, somewhere in there. So nobody's taken it since. I'm not gonna try it again. Full beans, unless somebody beats me, so. But that's pretty much it, guys, for this climb. Like I said, that's, I'm not sure if the video could really encapsulate that but I was riding the 39 25 and literally having all I could do really to just kind of keep things you know manageable in certain sections of that so there's one last little kicker here before the left hand turn and then down the, the white face uh, mountain to Wilmington at mile 57 right now mile 57 guys this is the uh, 61 mile mark and actually just this is uh, the ride this is a uh, Wilmington this is the town that uh, Whiteface Mountain is in I just came down that and a lot of people train on this road for uh, Iron Man. In fact, being a Friday afternoon, 
I wouldn't be surprised if I actually come up on some people out training on this road prepping for uh, next month's Ironman race in Lake Placid and in this area. All right guys, that is White Face Mountain in all its glory. Right there. The uh The ski center is just about a mile and a half up the road here. But uh that's the uh the king of the east we call it. White Face is, you know, White Face Mountain is by far my favorite climb. Love coming up here. I love riding that. I love riding that hill. Just love this loop in general. I'm at the 63 and a half mile mark. I'm about nine miles from Lake Placid right now. I'll probably stop there, get some more water in Lake Placid. And then it's uh I, you know, for the most part, once I get to Placid, it's pretty, it's generally downhill back home from Placid, so I'm actually at, uh, I'm actually at about 3,300 feet of climbing so far. All right guys, I'm at mile 72 and I'm actually uh, just coming into uh, Lake Placid. So I am just under four hours, three hours, 55 minutes and just crossed 4,000 feet of climbing so far on the ride. So I got this one Steep little kick here before we get to Lake Placid. Almost there. Now, again, this is part of the Iron Man loop here. Actually, right here is where they turn off. All right, guys, we are basically in Lake Placid now. Actually, the uh, the welcoming sign is just ahead of me here.
Uh-huh. Go for it. Go for it. No, I just ate lunch. Just ate lunch? At Subway. My legs are like rubber. Good you. Have a good rest of your night. Yeah, thanks, you too. guys that is a wrap on the ride just under seven hours of ride time uh, just over 6,000 feet of climbing and I'm gonna be just slightly over 130 miles that is my uh, my favorite endurance loop from my hometown in Malone up the Lake Placid around White Face Mountain and back home it's a great ride, it's a tough ride, and I appreciate you guys coming along with me. I'll see you guys uh, right back here in my next vlog.